welcome into Deb's kitchen. Today it's after the holidays and I had posted some taro beans a while back and people were wondering how I'm gonna, I made them. So since I have holiday ham bone that I had froze and this is my Thanksgiving one. I put it in the freezer and I'm going to be using this. This is the main ingredient star of your taro beans. Okay, first of all, I always buy these triple clean beans. I start out with those because then I don't have to do so much of cleaning. And I've been using it for years and I've found that they rarely have any rocks in them. So I'll remove that away. And we're going to be doing, for this crock pot size, I'm going to be doing six cups of beans. So just pour them in, I don't soak them. I'm gonna give them a quick rinse even though they're triple clean. If there's any clots of dirt, I want them to be dissolved. So just bring them over to the seat, run the hot water, and here's what I do, I just swish them. And I'm looking in here at the same time to see if I see any kind of rocks or anything. And I use the rinse them about three times so the water runs through it. Okay, so this is what I do when I'm rinsing them. I'm pouring off the water. At least, this is the second rinse. I'm gonna do this one more time. Okay, for the last third rinse, I use hot water. That's why I'm not swishing it, because it's really hot. And I'm just letting the bad beans and the little debris flow off the top. And then we're gonna go over to our crock pot. So we're ready. Okay, I'm gonna get the vegetables ready. It's super simple. These chato beans are otherwise known in English as cowboy beans. I guess they're something that was just thrown together on the road by ca the caballeros working and they would just throw it all in the pot, cast iron pot, whatever they had. They always had chile and so we have a whole onion and I am just going to cut it in half and throw it in the crock pot like that. I have two tomatoes that I'm adding, rough chop, because everything is going to break down in the pot. And I just want it to be big chunks. You could add more if you like. And I'm going to put one clove of garlic. Just going to mash it a little so it will break down. And we have chilies. I usually leave on the stem, because I, I just like the way it looks. Add whatever peppers you like. I have two jalapenos that I left over from my chili making salsa. And I add seasoning salt. Then of course, here's our ham. The bone, I try to leave some meat on it as you see, so that it will break down in your crock pot and give it tons of flavor. Now today, I thought I have these over from the tamale making. This is New Mexico chili, and I just want to try this. I haven't done this before. But my <coughs> reasoning is you boil them and then they get soft and smooth to make sauce. So why not put them in the crock pot? So we're gonna head over, but before I head over to the crock pot, just wanna mention that if you like, don't forget to like the video if you like this, this um, series and Share it, subscribe, and don't forget, put your comments. That's how I get ideas on what to cook next. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna set my crock pot on high. If you don't have one of these it's time, you can just watch it. So I'm gonna put in my ham bone, just throw it in, put in my onion, my chilies, my tomato, and then my Nuevo Mexico. Now the only seasoning I use, because the ham bone's salty, is my seasoning salt. And I put about, I would say a tablespoon. And once it's cooked, you can always um, add more. I set it for seven hours. Now that's all there is to it. You walk away, come back in seven hours. Your beans will be nice and delicious. The ham will break down, the meat will fall off the bone and marry with all those spices and chilies and it will be yummy.
I like to put these on right in the morning when I'm making breakfast so that by dinner time they will be ready and this and it's a meal in itself. Okay, so we'll be back in about seven hours, more or less, and uh, we will show you the finished product at that time. Okay, our charro beans are cooked. There's the red chili. It actually has a half hour more, but the red chili. There's a look at the bones. The meat fell clear off the bones. You can see the onion and the tomato and the pieces of ham here. And it's a gravy ish. It's not clear. It, I tasted it. It's very savory, brothy. You can eat it like this. If you want to take this chili and leave it a little longer, but I, it's good to go for me. So don't forget, like, subscribe, make comments. And I like the vegetables whole because not everybody likes onion. So you can put whatever you like in your dish. Here's a big chunk of meat, and it's, I tasted it, very delicious. With some homemade tortillas, you would be good to go. And if you like, you can, at this point, the vegetables are soft, so you can really break them up more if you like, or else eat it like this. So, bon appetito!